This is new this midday. Regional leaders gathered outside the county admin building to show support for the state's efforts to protect women's reproductive rights. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell joining us live now. Marie, they had a pretty strong message for lawmakers. Yeah, uh, Virginia, so they collectively wanted to show support for that proposed amendment to California's constitution that Derek just mentioned, which again will ensure a woman's right to choose. Congress member Peter. Standing side by side with signs in hand, state, federal and Please local officials school gathered school. to show support for Senate Constitutional Amendment 10 protects abortion and contraception in California's constitution. During the news conference, County Supervisor Tara Lawson Reamer shared a story about her choice to have her daughter, adding the concern she has about the Supreme Court ruling. I cannot imagine how difficult the job of being a single parent will be for the tens of thousands of women who will no longer be able to make that choice for themselves, who will be forced by their government to grow and birth a baby. And while California is already a leader in protecting reproductive freedom and services for women and families, in light of this ruling, these officials believe more has to be done. We will not be shoved back into the dark days of desperate decisions. Abortion is health care, plain and simple. And the decision to have one lies solely with the patient. California will not leave people vulnerable Meanwhile, over the weekend, church members all over the county prayed in their houses of worship. Cardinal designate Robert McElroy sent this statement out regarding his reaction to the ruling, saying in part, quote, we must work to ensure that California law protects the rights of the unborn, and we must emphasize that being pro-life demands more than opposition to abortion. He goes on to say it also means reinvigorating our adoption system to make sure there are options for women and families who are unable or unwilling for whatever reason to take on the responsibilities of parenthood. And voters could weigh in on this constitutional amendment in the November election. Live outside the county admin building, Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.